On your side, working for you. You're watching Daybreak. Welcome back. We are joined by Mayor Stout. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing great. Thank you. Good. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. I know it's a little early, but we're here. We're doing it. My pleasure. Um, so we are talking about not necessarily some mayor duties this morning, but we're talking about the Foundation for Cultural Exchange yearly trip. I'll let you have the floor. Yeah, that's right. So this is an organization that I was part of starting back in 2004. We're, this is our 19th year of being in existence, and this was started initially to basically facilitate a sister city relationship between Grand Junction and a little community in El Salvador called El Espino. And since 2004, uh, we've been taking annual trips down there. We call them delegations, but they're just, you know, cultural immersion trips of people in and around the community who want to go down and meet members of our sister city community, get to know um, our scholarship students in the community, learn about Salvadoran history, culture, cuisine, art, everything. So it's really an immersive experience into uh, a country that is a, a very small and pretty unknown country, except for maybe uh, some of the negative reputation that it has had over the years um, with some of the uh, immigration and gang situations that they have there. But it's an incredible trip. Now, you did mention it started back in 2004. And because of the pandemic, it had to be put on hold. This is the first year in what, three years, two years? Since 2019. Since 2019. Yeah, so, so we're really excited to bring these back. We had some trips planned. We obviously had a trip planned for 2020 that was canceled. <laughs> um, and then we were hesitant in 2021 to plan a trip. And then for 2022, again, it was, um, it, there was too much uncertainty around the restrictions that the virus was causing in El yeah. Salvador. And so now it's, it's open, it's safe, and we're back. That sounds amazing. Now we do have some pictures that I do want to throw up because it really is immersive, as you said. Yeah. Now, can you either maybe describe what's happening in these pictures or what can people expect if they go on this trip? Absolutely. So these photos are just of some previous groups that have gone down. You can see the different, these are a couple of the different highlights of where we would go. So the, this is a coffee uh, farm that we go to, a homestead that's a multi-generational uh, homestead. Wow. This is the site of a volcano up at the very top of the volcano. Um, these are students from our scholarship program that you, we're actually staying in the homes of many of these students. And there are lots of activities with the students and at the school that our travelers get to participate in. We do a lot uh, that's focused on art and eating, uh, which as you can imagine is very <laughs> much part of uh, international travel and mm -hmm. cultural travel. So we go to an um, artisan art market, uh, arts and crafts market. We go to uh, the workshop of El Salvador's most renowned artist who passed away unfortunately a couple of years ago, but we still go see the work that uh, lives on and the artisans that he trained at his workshop. So there is a whole lot that we do, but the idea is that this is not a traditional mission trip or service trip that we're not going down to build schools, we build relationships, and we're not going down to, um, to serve others in sort of that real paternalistic, um, you know, developed world to developing world capacity. We genuinely believe that when we go down, we do service through humility um, by staying in homes and learning about culture and, and life and daily life um, in the flesh rather than, you know, going down with something to offer or fix or solve. That sounds really fulfilling. Yeah. What has been some of the responses from previous people who have gone on these trips? I mean, you know, like you mentioned, you stay with these students. You really get to be in their culture. You get to do the things that they do. I mean, even climb a volcano or something that you mentioned. Um, what's what's the response from people who've gone? For you know, I went on this trip um, before. Oh, from yourself. Yeah, before <laughs> it was actually before we started this, I went on a trip down there, and the experience that I had is what we hear from so many people, and that it's life changing. You know, you go down, and it's just it changes your perspective. It gives you exposure to something that you probably never thought about much and it gives you these friends that are become lifelong friends. We've had uh, student or not students but travelers who have come back and actually altered their life course because of the experience of going down there. You know, students who have either changed their course of study or have gone into international um, work because of the experience of going down there. And we've had people who have just changed careers or even relationship paths because of the experience. And of course, you know, if you're if you're like, wait a second, I don't need a you know a total life shift. <laughs> there are plenty of people who go down and just have that really heartwarming experience um, of staying in homes where you're you're immediately brought into the folds of family. And you know, that's one of the reactions that we hear a lot is they didn't even know me, and I felt like family within a matter of days. That's amazing. A place full of culture full of family. 
things like that. Now, you know, we've talked about all of the things that you can expect when you're going. When's the trip? That's a great question. <laughs> the trip is. I wasn't going to forget to mention that. <laughs> the trip is July 6th through 13th. Um, and we, we leave, we fly out of Grand Junction, and the trip costs approximately, so it depends on the cost of plane tickets, which we know once we have the, the, everybody registered and committed, and then we're able to book that block of tickets. So the trip is estimated to be all inclusive between $2,000 and $2,500. And so that's plane tickets, lodging, meals, transportation, um, really everything that you could need to, you, we, we just take you down and you have a great time. Yeah, that sounds good. And if somebody wants to sign up, how is the best way that they do that? Best way is to either um, email FCE, as in Foundation for Cultural Exchange, FCE El Salvador at gmail.com or by calling 970-433-2897. And either of those ways, you can also get all that information on our website, fceelsalvador.org, um, and we can get you all the information you need about it and get you signed up. That sounds great. Now, she did mention the website. We do have an article on our website already that has all of this information, plus I will be posting this interview on our website as well, which will include all of this information. But yeah, thank you so much for joining me thank this you. morning. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Of course. We will be right back after this.